Hey guys, take one here. Welcome back to my Let's Play Paper Mario Without a New Door. How to check my door, shut it was. Anyway, real quick, once you cook something once, you can check all the recipes and see as I have one that I cooked, which was this. Because, guess what? Because my items. And here are my badges. I have two Power Rush badge equipped. In. I have PFD down. Attack sound fans, lucky start, last stand. Charge, damage dodge for both me and my partner. Quick hammer, and pretty lucky. The reason why I have the PFD down is because if I dodge something, they'll just be doing new, uh, neutral damage. Anyway, so we're going to be doing the pit of 100 trials for the next. So every 20 minutes, I'll cut the video off. So I have Goombella out so we can tell most enemies. So what you do is you basically have to kill every enemy. If we just kill them, that would be, yeah, like these guys won't even give us experience due to how weak they are. So I think I'm not going to do that just so I can actually show you guys. But one way to get a lot of coins is actually in here. So I did spend a lot of coins to do uh, stuff in here to get prepared. I probably should have spent a lot more. Actually, uh, I do have the website I go to to get like, my shine sprites. Uh... Oh, that guy has a pretty lucky partner badge. So what I want to do is swap. As you see, there's some enemies we still have to tattle. That's why I have Goombella so I can tattle enemies in here so I don't have to do them later. So we're going to uh Oh, I can only do the one in the front. Okay, so I'll just uh, kill off the first one. Bring back at Goombella so I can tattle the second one and the other one. The pretty lucky badge is... That's a partner one, I don't have that one, so I wanted to get that. So my goal is to not die. So I did save before going here, just in case, you know, we do end up dying. Uh, we won't lose that much, so let me swap my party member out real quick. Back to Goombella. And uh, Rally Wink, which I did upgrade Goombella so I can have, have more HP. But Wally Wink allows Mario to go again. So, if I'm like, okay, I Goombella won't do much damage, I can always give up her turn to attack with Mario again. Uh, let's do the spin, spin yeah. I fear I've never come across any of these enemies. Oops, I tapped A too much. But yeah, if I ever come across enemies uh, that I've not seen, the bars will pop up. So, like, we only fought one Gloom Shoot Room, and. A gloom stream, uh, one of those gloom buzz. It will pop up because I'm pretty sure we might fight more. So let me first toddle. Uh, let's see, the spin, yeah. And I'll go over his stuff, which you guys would have already seen. I could ult use the uh, Ultra Hammer to show you what it does, but I do want to get that badge, so I don't want to kill any of these guys. Look how much damage you do, and I don't have any damage increasing the badge like power plus or anything. Uh, and by the way, none of these will be sped up, so once we get 20 minutes, after we win a battle, we'll finish a battle, end off the episode. This is all we're going to be doing for the next 10, 20, 10, 5 episodes. Uh, which means I'm going to have to record everything I should have thought of that, because I can't turn my game off. So we're going to tattle this button, yes, and then switch back into uh, what's her face so we can steal a thing. Oops. Uh, and one thing that's gonna suck is bingo. As you see, I have two poison mushrooms there, so I kind of want to screw up uh, some of my stuff. Because if I get my stuff cut in half, I'm gonna be just. Mad at this mouse. So I'm not even gonna complete these action commands because they are good enough to actually kill. Uh, so let's use this. Oh, but I have to. Oh, he got lucky. Yeah, but I also have charge so I can charge up because he has no hollow of charging in Paper Mario 1. So I gotta. Hope to steal this. So 
So we got the badge. Which is a new badge we don't even have. Oh my god, thank god. Because that would be the worst thing. Later on, I will have to switch on over to uh, Vivian so we can get some amazing daisies. So what I have to do is... Probably skip out on one Maisy Daisy. But yeah, these things give a lot of HP, so... So, let's switch on over to Kimbella again. To, uh, continue on. I do have a bit of 100 hours, like... I already got this guy. I think there's another one. I think there's a third one of these. But I do have the floors. What we'll have. No, we already have that. So, there's a fire flower, but I don't need that. So, let's go over the Gloomba. Do, 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 do. I said I was going to be 100%. By the time we beat this game, we won't have everything unlocked. So what I'm going to do is... During the bonus episodes, I'll get all the troubles, all the uh, uh, badges and all that. And I'll show you guys, like, oh, I got it all. Most badges you can buy and most badges... Like, there are badges in here you can only get in here. But there's badges you can only... You can get in here and also buy, but like the shop had the uh, fire dive badge twice, and well, I already had them. Now, technically, I don't have to do uh, tower these guys. Oh, I already have it. I'll show off ultra hammer. It's basically the same thing, but it's faster. I like that. Do -do 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 -ding. And that's how you can kill him fast. We only get one experience per battle. But, oh, there was a badge I, I could have bought, which I didn't want to do it. Was if I would have got a first attack on enemy that is weak, or just in the battle straight away. Right, here's a fuzzy. Ah, oh, the sleepy sheep. We already have all these. A quick, I have quick camera to take care of multiple enemies. I don't have the spike shield, that's why I have the thing open. So if there's a flying spiked enemy, I could jump on them and do it that way. Now every 10th floor you get a price. That's why I'm doing it because there's an item that is godlike. I already have enough items, so screw the sleepy sheet. And that item, with you add, like if you think this is too hard, just get to floor 50 and you'll be fine. Because I think it's floor 50, you would get an item called the I don't know what it's called. I don't remember what it's called. But it doubles your inventory space, so you have 20 instead of 10. Which, when you think about it, that is godlike. So yeah, if I drop below 5 HP, I'll have plus 4 attack from my uh, Power Rush badge. So that can help us sweep through these things fast. That's the only reason I have it. I equipped, uh, equipped two of them. So I bought a second one. If they had one for partners, I would have equipped it too, but... We also have the PFD down, so... If we land the actual commands, it would just be doing normal damage. So that would have done one damage, but now it does two. And we got a health back. And a quick, quick camera can end these guys. Oh, dude, are you serious? I just got myself healed. My goal is not let Goombella die. That's why, like I said, that's why I upgraded her. So she could have 30 HP instead of the normal. Five. Was it five? No. I think it was fifteen she had. So technically there's only ninety floors due to the fact every tenth floor is the rewards room. So now these might be easy, but just wait. The first one is basically enemies you find in chapter 1, and the second one is basically enemies you find in chapter 2. 3, 4, 5, and 6, 7, and then you get to the lowest floor, you find a boss. I think uh, when Nintendo Capri Sun did this let's play, he did the Pit of 100 Trials before chapter 5, I think. Before chapter 8, I should say. And you know me, I love a challenge in Paper Mario, because the game is way too easy. So I saw a video, I'm 
a video that I was playing like the next Nintendo Direct, which is supposed to be this month. It's supposed to show, show new games and stuff like that. And one of the games on that piece of paper was uh, it says ER um, or Wii U. And it's like, okay, there's only three things that ends with ER. Or two, a few things. Super, but you already have a Super Mario game for the Wii U. And then pa and Paper. So, like, Paper Mario 3D, that would be amazing. See, we're on floor 10. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Floor 10. So, you don't fight anybody, you just get a reward. Sometimes, the, uh, the guy we see outside who gives us uh, random items, he could be in here and he sells you crap. But anyway, we got Sleepy Shop Stomp Badge, which is awesome. So let's continue going. What are we on time? 11 minutes, we're good. So we have Paragloombas, which we have not titled them yet. And Spines, which we already have done that. Uh, title, Paragloomba. So for people who are also gonna try to 100% this, this, do you get 100%? You need to, uh, get it. I'll take care of these guys first. To get 100%. Oh, I couldn't take care of them. But yeah, to get 100%, you have to get every badge. Do every trouble. Get every uh, title. Get all the star pieces and uh, shine sprites. And I think that's considered 100%. <clears throat> My voice is dying. We're down to like no FP, so I'm just gonna try to save as much. As we get down to the lower floors, we're gonna start fighting enemies that are gonna be super strong. And it's gonna take a lot more things. But there's gonna be battles with the uh, bulk, uh, bomb bulk, a uh, bob oak, which is a bomb bomb that's basically like those big pink ones that will. Uh, Oh, that would basically just give us you attack them with it, fire and they blow up. With Amazing Daisy on the field, you can kill them, and that's how we're going to level up to get all the stuff back. <coughs> I was watching a stream trying to plan out what I was going to do for Paper Mario, and I was like, you know what? What's this? So we're getting double experience from nothing. You better get us two. Yes, worth it. By the way, I did refresh my spell as well. We have yet to use any items, so there's no point to pick that up. But yeah, this is how you can, you can do this multiple times. So keep going through here to get a whole bunch of coins. Get the badge that doubles your drop of coins. And yeah, you'd be set to get all the badges. Anyway, there's some enemies. Do I have the clefts? I don't think I have the clefts. That sucks. But I do not have Piders or the other guy, so I can tattle you. So I don't have to go back to what to call it at all. So if you missed some, uh. Uh, enemies, you can always go to the pit 100 trials and get every single one that you missed, and you'd be set. Okay, so let's pick up our coins. So we're on floor 11 to 20. So we have a pokey. Okay, let's see. See, I don't want to waste that much time, so I want to try to get as much fights as we can. So I'm just gonna like, kill these guys and thing is, we're not going to get too strong enemies until much later, so we'll most likely level up at least once before we get to uh, the thing. And then yeah, once we get to the thing, 
once you get to the higher floors, we're going to level like multiple times. So we'll be set for chapter uh, 7, which I have yet to do the pedestal thing. So we'll do that after we get done here. So yeah. Now, you ha if you want 100%, you have to do this because there is a badge you can only get in here. So yeah. Dark Puff. Okay, we already have you guys. Too bad I don't have a multi bounce because I could kill all of you guys. By the way, I will be doing a BP only run in the future. Oh, you seriously had to waste my time. By the way, charging in this game actually costs one FP, but at least it counts towards both attack and. If I want to, I could waste 4 FP to charge again. <laughs> But yeah, I will be in the future be doing a BP only run of both this and 64. I don't know if I'm gonna do uh, them as a like another let's play or live stream it, and then if I can upload the live stream to YouTube. Anyway. Pirates are the most easiest things to get. You can just charge this up and just spin. And we already have a pair of Gloomba. Oh, I screwed that up. Now, who cares? Because I can easily kill the Goomba and Goomba I can take care of the thing. I'm telling you, the first two floors are nothing, but... Hey, let's... Easily run through this. I think what I might do is when we get close to leveling up, use all my FP, and uh, then the next fight I get into, I'll use uh, Sweet Fest to get it all back. Okay, we're up to 18 minutes in the audacity, so that means we'll be ending soon. Now, if some of these videos end up getting 19 minutes, that's fine. My goal was to make it 19, 20, and or 21, depending on if we want to fight or not. Do, 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 do. I would be watching a GDQ, but right now there's not really that much games on. I got a super guard of that actually now that I think about it. So next we're fighting Clef. Do I have Clef? I don't think I do. I could have Clef. By the way, we started this with uh I think a 750 coins and look what up to 800, we already got 50 coins. And after the shop, I'm gonna buy something, so. For some reason I knew there was gonna be clefts in here. Now, do we have them? No, we do not. Then again, if I didn't get clefts, I can always go to Pedalburg or the Foggly Woods, and it would have been easy to get them because, like, on the first map. I have to defend against that because I don't want to take too much damage from that. Actually, it doesn't really matter. That's a lot up soon. Roughly, I figure. I think we have enough time to get into one more fight. And, or I could probably just say, screw it. Let me go to uh, the 20th floor. Because we are literally halfway done. We have two more floors. We have this No, we have this one, then the next one, and then we're done. Yeah, see, uh, chapter uh, 3240 is going to be just people we fought inside of uh, Blitz Pit, which is chapter 3. I could use, let's use Ultra Hammer. And then what I want to do is Rally Wink. And then Mario's next we can go again with Mario. And I can just use a Super Hammer. And if I would have missed, well, oh well. It's kind of useful. Only if Mario's like, if you're doing a 5 HP Mario run, which is you drop your HP down to 5 with the, like, the cheat repo. And then you fight, uh, 
you will always be in danger, so you have a whole bunch of power rush. It is a good strategy, too. And then let Goombella do that. So anyway, this will be the last fight, because we're up to 20 minutes, and this is the last floor as well. Just a heads up, future videos will not be like this, because these are simple enemies. But once we get to like the strongest stuff, it's going to be like... Whew. Now if you wanted to, you could do the 100 pit at chapter 1 to level up a lot, and then do it at chapter 2, and so forth and so on. But the thing is, you have to keep going through floor 1, 2, everything. So this is a badge I could have bought, it's called the Fire Dive. So I'm spending money on it. Might as well just use it. Tax, which assaults all grounded enemies. That seems kind of cool. Kind of see what, see what it looks like. So I'll get rid of two badges, I guess. Pretty lucky, and... One power rush, so I can see what this looks like. But it costs 5 FP, never mind. So anyway, next time, let's play Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. We will continue going on through floor 20. I mean, uh... 21 through 30. See you guys later.